Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at encapsulation, which is the protecting from misuse of resources by restricting direct access. So in our example, we have a data type called date and it has a field called day, which is just representing a number day of the month. So we have a nice little setter uh, method here, which is going to make sure that we only take a value that is feasible. So, you know, it's going to make sure that the day, the number isn't less than one, since we can't have days less than one. And it's also going to make sure we don't have any days, uh, any numbers greater than 31, because 31 is the highest number of days you can have in a month. And if we do run into that, then we're going to go ahead and create our error and we're going to go ahead and return that error. Now, this is all great and all, but the problem being is that being that this is in the same package as we're running are running our code, there's no way of forcing the user to use this method. So they could still create a data type of date and they could just directly assign that value, you know, a number that shouldn't work. So 50. Now, even if this data type uses a lowercase letter, well, that only affects, you know, if, you know, other packages outside this package can, can use it. So no matter what we do, it's package scoped and anything in here can access it directly. So um, let's just go ahead and run this to show it. Yeah, so it sets a value 50 for the number day, which isn't feasible. Now to fix this, we're gonna go ahead and use another package. So we have our other package here called calendar and we have a data type called date. We have a setter method, which is gonna take a value. We're gonna check for errors. And then finally, oh, finally, we're going to use our getter me uh, method to go ahead and return our value. So let's go ahead and take a look at our other package and we're importing it from right here. Okay. So we have our data type called date and it, it, it and it is capitalized. So that way we can have access it, access to it outside of this package. Now the problem we were running into before was our fields the user could have access to these fields. So as you notice that year is lowercase, so the user won't be able to access it directly, but we're gonna go ahead and give it some methods which are capitalized where the user can access those methods, say to set or get those values. Now, year is uh, lowercase, so is month. Now this one was purposely uh, set uppercase to show what would happen if you accidentally forgot one of them. So go ahead and just ignore that one for right now. So like we said, we have our setter methods, which uh, the idiomatic way for go is to go ahead and just put set and then whatever you're, you're setting. And of course we have our error checking, return our errors. We have our setter methods here. And then we have our getter methods as well. The idiomatic way for for go for getter methods is in some languages it might be say get and then whatever you're getting say would be like get year. Uh, we're not doing that here because the idiomatic way for go is just to put the capitalize, uh, you know, it's just whatever you're retrieving. So um, this one's a little bit different. Like I said, we wanted to show what happens if we forgot the capitalize one, we get this weird little error here. Um, yeah, VS Code notice, hey, we have a problem here because you know this method has the same name as the, uh, the field. Um, the other ones it doesn't notice because the uh, the fields are lowercase and then the method is uppercase, but if they're both uppercase, this seems to have an issue. So I went ahead and changed this one that way just for demonstration. So go ahead and go back to our our code, our uh, main.go. Oh, uh, don't forget that we need to make sure that we add this here so that way we know we're changing this. We're messing with the same, uh, we're passing by reference instead of by copy. We don't want to just change a copy of it. We want to actually change uh, what we're working with. Go back here. So again, we're using our calendar package, date data type. We're using the set method, which works great. And then we're using our getter method. So unexported fields. Let's say if we tried to directly access those instead of using the methods, well, that's going to go ahead and 
you know, I'm going to say, hey, this uh, undefined cannot refer to unexported fields or methods. And we can't assign it either. You know, it's going to have, you know, say the same thing. It's unexported. Um, that's not going to work. But, you know, of course, we can still access it using the getter method. And let's say if we, now if we try and put in a value that is not going to work, it should trip our, uh, we should return an error. When we check for that error, well, log fatal, well, this is, you know, this is just the same thing as print, but it's, like it says, it's going to call to os.exit, so it's going to exit the program. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we have an error here, and it tells us the time, because we use log. Uh, value for the for day is uh, less than 1 or greater than 31. If we look over there, that is, this is these, this error that we created over here. Let's go ahead. And comment that back out and now we're back to that field uh, that we accidentally capitalized so if you would forget to I'm sorry to not capitalize to make lowercase so if you accidentally capitalize it let's just go ahead and show that so you could use a setter method and yes it would you know set a day but then again being that this one over in calendar is capitalized, that means that uh, we can have access to it outside of this package. Well, now it's you know, it can set something that you know that can be accessed directly. We can set something that we didn't intend to. So that is just to show um, you know the pitfall of that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set our month, set our day. And we have a function called display uh, world data. Um, I think I just put world in there because um, I think in, in the American version, this is how a lot of places in the world will do it. They'll put the uh, year, month, and then day. Um, I'm in America, they don't generally do it that way. But uh, since we have more viewers uh, across the world anyway, let's go ahead and just do it this way. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and run this method and being that this is capitalized, yes, we're going to have access to it. And it's going to go ahead and call a method called print message, which is an over glorified, you know, print line function. But notice that this is not capitalized. So anything inside this calendar package can have access to it. So this display world data method can have access to it, but we wouldn't be able to access it uh, directly. So go back to this one, save, run it. As you can see, the message that we were able to run this print message method, and it says uh, display world data method running, and then we were able to print our year, uh, month, and day. Now, one thing to be wary about is that we're not gonna be able to access this directly. So if you wanted to even have some methods that you don't want the user to have uh, direct access to, well, just leave them uh, uh, lowercase and you can still access them you know, inside of your package, but someone else wouldn't be able to have access to them if you didn't want them to. So if we try to run that, well, uh, print message undefined cannot refer to unexported field or method. And this one is a method, so we can't have access to it. So again, if you have a bunch of uh, different things you want to make sure someone doesn't misuse or enter the wrong data, this can be uh, very useful for reducing uh, number of errors, especially if you're working as a team, um, and you can just really help uh, help people out to make sure you know if it's really critical that thing gets validated correctly. You know you can do that. Um, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Um, some people have shared on some other. Uh, social networks and different things. It's been extremely helpful, helpful. So really do appreciate it. Every little bit helps. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.